Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our devotion for Wednesday, August 28th, as we continue to explore Jesus' parable of the weeds. Now, we read through the whole parable on Monday and yesterday we talked about this amazing gift we have that the, the seeds and the good, the good plants represented in the parable are the children of God, that we've been made children of God through, through a gift of, of His grace. Today, though, we're looking at what happened next in the parable. And what happened next is while everybody was sleeping in the dark of the night, an enemy came in and planted weeds in and amongst all the wheat. We need to remember that there is an enemy around. We have two Bible passages today. Uh, the first comes from John 10 verse 10 and it says, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. But Jesus came that we might have life and have it abundantly. Paul reminds us of 2 Corinthians verse 11, For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise that his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. God has planted us, and he wants us to grow, and he wants us to bear fruit. But Satan does not. This broken world does not. And we have to be honest, our sinful nature does not. And, and those are the weeds that we battle with as we live in this world. We, we deal with sin and, and the, the powers of this world and our own sinful nature. Satan, the powers of this world and our own sinful nature. And, and these are things seeking to choke off this life we have been given through Jesus Christ. These are things wanting to prevent us from living as children of God. But we need to keep these things in perspective as we go through our lives. We need to be aware that weeds are weeds and wheat is wheat. And while there, there are weeds all around us seeking to choke us off, there's also wheat all around us. And all that other wheat are children of God as well. But we're going to have these things coming and seeking to damage our faith. And some of them are going to present themselves as very wholesome, very good things. We're going to have some things um, that Satan or the world makes us think is very spiritual, is very good. But in reality, it's pulling us away from our Heavenly Father. We need to show good judgment as we go through this world because we need to recognize that, that we are surrounded by temptations of things that are completely their goal is to steal away our faith and separate us from our Heavenly Father that that is Satan's goal that is the broken world's goal our sinful nature is in rebellion against him that's why I think it's really important to remember that in both Luther's morning and evening prayer he wants us to remember our baptism in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit each and every day because it's that baptism that gives us that new life. It's that baptism that makes us children of God. It's that baptism that equips us to deal with the enemy sowing seeds of weeds in our lives. Can't take away the weeds because it could rip up some, some believers. But we can rely on God to continue to feed and take care of us as his children. And in the end, there will be that separation. But for now... Our responsibility is just to grow. That's what we've been called to do. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for making us your children once again. Today, Lord, we ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit so that as we deal with the temptations of our own sinfulness in a broken world and Satan's temptations around us seeking to choke us off, we may continue to be fed by your word and we may grow in our faith to give glory to you. In your son's most holy name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.